Hello everybody, this is Team Jigyasa IAS. We started a new series called From the Scratch in which we tell you everything related to the exam as minimum as what is the syllabus, what is the marking pattern and uh, what to study, where to study, strategy of the examination, everything which can make you more familiarized with the exam. This videos are targeted towards freshers who just jumped in into the preparation. Others also can see if they have few doubts to get clarified. So uh, in this particular video, I, I, I am talking about the scheme of the examination, what will be there in the prelims, what to do in the main, I mean, uh, what, what is the marking pattern in the mains and how many marks for the interview, all these things I would like to talk in this particular video. In the previous videos, I spoke about prelims exclusive syllabus and where to study what to study and all that regarding prelims exclusive in this particular video I will talk about the examination pattern okay so let's start let's start okay so UPSC civil services exam consists of three stages okay phase one phase two and phase three phase one is called prelims phase two is called mains and phase three is interview okay phase one prelims is a qualifying one it is not counted uh, for you to get into the merit list whereas these two phases are counted for you to get your rank okay so in prelims you have two papers paper 1 and paper 2 this happens in the morning and paper 2 happens in the afternoon okay so this will be of 200 marks each okay in this 200 marks only this is counted for you to go into the mains okay you have to get a reasonably good score uh, as prescribed by UPSC to qualify into the means whereas this paper 2 you have to get one third of the marks or, or one third of the marks allo allotted for the paper 2 that is like approximately 67 uh, plus 67 plus you have to get in uh, paper 2 to qualify for prelims as such I mean if you get 67 only you will be your paper will be considered for counting if counting to see if you go into the mains or not so this is qualifying for this and paper one is qualifying for me so basically you do well in the prelims you go to the mains and this is how it happens next let's talk about let's talk about in mains you have nine papers one your mother tongue I mean language paper one is English essay GS papers you have four papers in GS and then you have optional two papers okay these two are qualifying only okay you have to get 33 percentage marks to qualify in these two papers essay will be of 250 marks GS paper each of 250 marks and optional paper each of 250 marks so on a total you have 1750 marks in mains alone okay this is for mains optional you can choose anything that you want I mean you can choose sociology you can choose you know from humanities science maths you can choose various subjects in optional GS is you know everybody should write GS and uh, so uh, the total marks given for the mains is 1750 when you come for the interview you have uh, 275 marks and these mains marks and interview marks together will be used to get the merit list okay so this is the marking scheme of uh, UPSC civil services hope you understood and uh, let me just okay so let's see what is exactly in the 
in the syllabus as such okay so in the next video we will discuss in detail what is there in GS I mean what syllabus has been mentioned in the main syllabus GS 1 2 3 4 essay and optionals everything in detail we will see in the next videos coming up okay signing off bye